and this is the last video of our webinar and this video will be about how to get your research work published you can check continuing education center for more education programs so just check certificate.jomu.edu.tr okay now we are getting into the slides this presentation's topic will be getting published here are the outcomes when you listen to this video you will be able to explain what makes an academic journal by stating its main features and you will be able to identify the overall aspects of article tailoring to specific journal types in accordance with their writing conventions and rules and finally you will be able to correctly state the processes of writing reviewing and publishment in academic contexts what do we have in the content of this video so i will be talking about pre-writing while writing and post writing let's first define an academic journal an academic journal also known as a scholarly journal is a regular publication that provides some kind of knowledge in a specific area of study academic journals are persistent open platforms for the presentation inspection and discussion of research typically they are peer-reviewed or refereed our first section is pre-writing in which we are to look on why to write for an academic journal and how to tailor our articles to the journal of our choice you want to write for an academic journal for your own professional development to receive enough scholarly points as well as for the development of your own profession since the studies you share create a new perspective or develop the ones already known so that future research can find its way so it's the cycle of development if you want to develop yourself professionally then you send an article to the journal and your work gets published and it will help your profession develop then you will again professionally develop yourself so it's a cyclical process now let's talk about article tailoring prepare a journal shortlist to decide upon the best choice of the journal that can accept your study to publish to do that you can ask yourself two questions which journals do you usually read related to your study another question is what journals do you aim to cite in your paper or you can just ask your colleagues about it there are also several softwares that may help you find a suitable journal for your study journal suggester is one of them you just copy and paste the abstract of your article and click on the reveal button once you have found the journal of your desire check for its scope goals previously published articles and review its editor editorial board to ensure your paper is suitable for the journal there are some other things you may want to consider like academic level of the journal the style of the journal difficulty of getting published professionalism or estimated publication time 
which we will be talking about in the next presentation. Lastly, check the reliability of the journal. You can use this website, thinkcheck-submit.org. And what should we do while we are drafting our papers? In this session, I will be talking about while writing. Primarily, don't forget the rules. We talked about them in depth in the previous presentation. You may want to see the instructions for authors which set up rules of writing such as word count, formatting, or style in the journals you weave. Properly follow the format. Organize your paper in the journal's conventions. Don't have any language errors. So, care about the language. Make use of citations whenever necessary. And don't forget to list your references at the end of your paper. You should start preparing your tables and figures if you have any. And you need to cover each aspect of the manuscript with your literature review, but be careful not to just summarize the literature in a listing style. You need to use analyzing, synthesizing, and paraphrasing techniques to provide a strong and comprehensible theoretical framework. And discuss the known, identify the gap, and relate the study to the gaps in the literature. In the abstract, do not use any abbreviations. Stay in journal's word limit. Mention your aim, methodology, and main findings, and be comprehensible. In the introduction part, provide a clear background, your focus, importance of the study, and international perspective. So, generalizability is important here. In the methodology part, include all the subheadings the journal necessitates. And in the next part, state the implications of your findings and relate it to the previous studies to find out whether they are in consistency with yours. In the findings and discussion part, so you need to present and discuss findings in the order of importance. And finally, in the conclusion part, acknowledge the limitations of the study and write your implications or recommendations for future research. Lastly, we will talk about what to do after we have drafted our papers and ready to publish. Or are we really ready? Of course we are not. We need to revise our papers. One of the most important steps is the process of reviewing the paper to make sure there are no inconsistencies, language errors, or plagiarism of any type. So we can divide this revision process into two, self-review and peer review. As the name suggests, you review the paper yourself. Specifically, you focus on one thing after another. At your first revision, for example, look for the language errors only. Then, look for inconsistencies only, if any. You get the point. Proofreading is the key. After that, correct your errors and mistakes. Then, the term peer here refers to somebody you know of the same field who may be a colleague or a friend 
on which you can rely. Following the self-review process, you need to ask a peer or two to review your paper as well because they as a third person can see what you may have missed while revising your own work. However, peer review also means the evaluation of your work by the qualified members of your profession to decide on whether to publish your article or not in a peer reviewed journal which we are going which we are to go into detail in the publishment process what about cover letter a cover letter is a chance for you to better explain yourself and your study to have your chances of getting published up it will help the editor understand you better. Explain the study in your own words, referring to the focus and scope of the journal, and respond to each comment by the reviewers. So, you can see the publishment process here. Article in the first step, article received and acknowledged so first decision is given by the editor most of the time it can be an immediate reject or it can be considered to be reviewed some of the articles sent for peer review after the editor check and reviews returned to the editor and reviews considered by the editor and a follow-up from editor comes it can be reject the decision can be reject it can be request revision so which means resubmitted article goes for further peer review or conditional acceptance resubmitted article reviewed can be reviewed by the editor or the article can be accepted what do peer reviewers look for they look for relevance and attraction of the work to the readers of any field so clear and coherent writing which is internally consistent accessible and maintaining an appropriate balance between theory and practice and they also look for generalizability of specific context to other contexts also awareness of recent wor work in the field so it should have the recent work in the literature review what they don't look for then too much theoretical knowledge but insufficient practice they don't look for too little theoretical framework to justify or clarify the study and they don't look for lack of awareness of recent wor work in the field two local contexts of no interest to readers in international contexts and they don't look for interesting but underdeveloped idea to publish what about causes of ma major revision or rejection so here you can see a graph and you know the major cause of rejection is poor language as you can see little interest or no generalizability is the other reason irrelevant to instructions poor quality supporting figures not enough contribution to the field fault methodology not in journal scope poor discussion inadequate references and titles being not representative of the study 
they can be the major reasons of revisions or rejections so poor language was the major cause of rejection so what about this language problems so let's talk about problems related to the english use so redundancy using you know the same things again and again verb and tense agreements passive voice errors noun and verb issues and clear pronouns omitting comparisons verb agreements so these are the problems that can be seen as a you know language problem and in some journals there is a system of article transferring if your paper is deemed to be unsuitable for the journal the publisher advises you to submit your paper to another journal now let's talk about what you can do after acceptance announce your study on social media using hashtags keywords and tagging your significant others such as co-authors publisher or your affiliated institution however do not brag about your success stating your title only and your study so be professional using an understandable daily language to clarify the importance of your study why it will be significant step for the field and the things like so video recording yourself and explaining the study in your own words to share it may be a clever idea and creating a researcher profile on google scholar or research gate or academia or linkedin is another thing you may want to do and after publication share your e-prints and link your research in your social media signatures that's all for this webinar i hope it was fruitful for you here are the textual resources i made use of while preparing this presentation and here you can see the visual ones in the first video i introduced you the project partners here you can see the project partners again thank you so much to the international association of educators for supporting this project also i would like to thank a lot to the project team who contributed to the development of the content of this webinar. I am also grateful to the international participants of the project for their great support. Thank you for listening. I finished a series of academic writing and I hope these three videos will help you in your writing research projects please don't forget to get your certificates from our system hope to see you in other webinars kind regards